is from is from the American Mathematics Competitions Corporation Book Volume Two. Hit me up if you're watching this. Um, so in this problem, we have triangle ABC, which is a right triangle, and angle A is equal to 90. Um, so AB is equal to 16. AC is equal to 12 centimeters, of course. D is the midpoint of these two, and E is formed so that it creates a right a, a perpendicular line between CD and DE. <laughs> okay, what is the number of squ in square centimeters of the area of quadrilateral AB, ED? So instead of finding the area of this first, I'm going to want to find out the area of triangle D, um, CDE, and then subtract it from triangle ABC. Well, first of all, we can solve for triangle ABC because it's one half base height, so it would be 16 times 12 over 2, which is equal to 8 times 12. So that's equal to 96. So I'm just going to note that, okay? I can get rid of this. I'm just going to say triangle ABC is equal to 96 right over my corner. Okay. Now the real fun begins. I had to get a new marker, so. Um, first of all, you might notice these look sort of like a Pythagorean triplet. Um, these both have in common four. So if we divide by four, we get 12 over four is equal to three. And that is equal to four, which means that this is going to be equal to a five times four. So this right here is 20 centimeters. And this can further be broken up into 6 and 6. Okay, so um, now we're just going to realize that CED is similar to triangle um, CAB. You see, if we take this, we flip it around. This is going to be the hypotenuse right over here. This goes right over there. You can just flip it around and it all fits. So that means that um, triangle CDE is is similar, sorry, to C to C B A. Okay. C D E is similar to C B A. It's all good. So now from this, we can say that the, this is the hypotenuse of both of them. We can say that 6 over, and this right here is 20, squared is equal to the area of CDE over the area of CBA. That right there, 3 over 10, that's going to be equal to 9 over 100, uh, is equal to the, um, to that triangle over that triangle, the area of that triangle over the area of that triangle. Um, okay, so now um, what we can do is we can just do a little bit of algebra. If we multiply both sides, by S C V A, we will be left off with the area of triangle C D E is equal to nine over a hundred times the area of triangle C D A. Okay? So um, that's ex this is it. Now just note that this is also just A, B, C. Seeing that it's just in a different order so that the similarity worked for so it's corresponding to all the sides and angles. So we can say that um, C, D, E 
is going to be equal to 9 over 100 times ABC, it would come in handy, times 96. And um, I'm just going to tell you that that is equal to 216 over 25 after it's simplified. Okay? And so this one right here can get erased. As I said before, what we're going to do in this problem, oh, I erased that, 216. We're going to take the ABC and subtract um, CDE from it, leaving us with quadrilateral ABED. So our answer is going to be 96 minus 216 over 25. And that obviously is equal to this gorgeous looking number. It's so simple. Um, okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.